So first, during lightning talks, um, we've got an extended lightning talk from Maxime Quandal. Maxime is the author of many widely used Meteor packages, including Meteor Bower and Meteor Jade. Tonight, Maxime will be talking about Weekend, the open source Trello-like Kanban. So everyone, please welcome Maxime. Hi, good evening. I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'm Maxime. Uh, this is me on the real life, and this is me on GitHub. Um, I've been in the Meteor community for about uh, three years now, so quite a long time. I've done some contribution to the Meteor core, uh, created some packages. Uh, the Jade package is the most popular I've done. It's a more concise template language for Blaze. Uh, yeah, Bore as well, which was an attempt to solve uh, the whole repackaging issue that we had and that we still have uh, with Meteor. And today I'm going to talk about uh, Weekend. So just out, out of curiosity, who has already heard of Weekend before? Raise your hand. Yeah? Okay. Not so many people. So Weekend is an open source troll like Kanban. And uh, let me give a, a demo. So this is Weekend. If you already used Trello before or really any, any other kind of Kanban software, you should be pretty uh, comfortable with Weekend. So you have these cards. And um, this is actually a board about uh, the Meteor world domination. Uh, so you can move cards around. Uh, so the, tr the Meteor logo is down. Um, you can add some new cards. So for instance, give a talk. Um, you can open card, assign some numbers to the card, also um, uh, drag and drop from the sidebar. So this is all pretty standard features. Uh, we have a command system, hello. Um, you can add new cards, as I say. When you add new cards, you can assign directly some people to it, so using the at symbol or so using uh, labels. So for instance, the green label. Ooh, it's not working. Anyway. Um, and once you have a lot of cards, you can start to use filter views to restrict what you, your current view on the project. So here I'm filtering only the cards I'm assigned to. Uh, you can filter it on other criteria as well. Uh, since this is something pretty common, we have some keyboard shortcuts that you can see by pressing the um, interrogation mark, the question mark on the keyboard. So this is the, the shortcuts you have. So for instance, to see the card you assigned to, you can just press letter Q, and here they are. Um, you can, we have labels as well. So for instance, we can say um, excellent uh, ID and start ooh, ID and start labeling uh, the different um, to-do things we have to do. So uh, starting a DOS set, uh, Daniel service attack on Django and Ruby and Race, it's a good ID. So let's label it, good ID. Uh, open sourcing atmosphere, good ID. Uh, translate the meter source code in French, I don't think it's a good ID. <laughs> you will lose some contributors. <laughs> But uh, translating the weekend user interface in French is a good idea, and actually it's already done. We have a lot of different languages, and more coming soon. Uh, I think it's already translated in Arabic, for instance, but not yet released. <coughs> um, we also have some features that uh, Trello does not have. So for instance, um, you, we, have, we can import a board. So, oh yeah, and about these things, the, the Donald Trump thing, that's just because uh, of this tweet, I don't know, yeah. If I'm elected president, all brother will agree on a runtime and we won't have any bugs anymore. Make JavaScript great again. <laughs> so I think that's something we should support. That's, wh that's why I put it on the to-do uh, list. So this is not the actual Meteor roadmap. This is something I created for this presentation, but Meteor has an official and public roadmap. And guess what? It's hosted on Trello. And, and not on weekend. So we should fix that. We should uh, import the Trello roadmap on weekend. And we actually have a, a Trello importation from uh, in weekend. So you can create a new board very easily. Just give a name, hello world. You can choose if it's a private or public board. Let's keep private and create. And here I can start creating my list and my cards. But I also have the option to, instead of creating a, a blank board, to import from Trello. 
Then I just need to um, get the data for my throttle board. So here is the Meteor run map. Uh, I can export the, a JSON from it. It takes a little bit of time to generate the export. Hopefully, we will get it. Yeah. So a lot of data here. Just copy paste it and import. <laughs> So then we have this uh, mapping of members because uh, we try to be smart and do some automatic mapping between the um, Trello instance and the weekend instance, so based on the email address. But we still need to let the last word to the user importing the board, so you can like change the mapping, whatever you want, assign some new user to it. Uh, I won't do that for this demonstration, so just keep the, this mapping and import. And then it upload the file to the server. We could have something a little bit more reactive here for big data, but anyway, here is the meteor roadmap on weekend. And now I can uh, start uh, playing with woo. I can start playing with the meteor roadmap, so Galaxy is done. <laughs> <laughs> I can also like trying to choose what they're going to do um, now. So moving the router into core, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, in this kind of board where, vi where you have a lot of tasks, uh, we have an extra feature <coughs> that Trot does not have as well. It's called the multi-selection. It's just here next to the filter button. You click it. And um, I guess most of you are software developers, so you know how to use a um, code editor with multiple cursors, and it's a little bit the same idea. It's kind of a powerful abstraction. So you can select multiple cards like this and assign a label or assign someone to this card. And that's it. You can have this multi-selection. You can also move card. Uh, so by pressing, pressing shift is another way to toggle the multi-selection mode. And now I'm moving all this car to the present. Um, it's also work in conjunction with the filter view. So for instance, if I am filtering all my cards, the card I am assigned to, I see them and though I can uh, toggle the filter to selection and move all my cards to the present. So this is a feature Trello does not have and it's once you get used to it, it's quite useful. Um, so that's it for my demonstration, my present, uh, my demo. I just want to talk a little bit about the future plan for weekend and why I'm doing it in the first place, why I'm doing an open source Trello-like Kanban. Um, there are already a lot of Kanban software. Uh, this is a Kanban containing the, the list of Kanban that are in the market. Uh, I don't have them all because there are like thousands of Kanban, but you can see that Trovo is not the only one. There are a lot of this kind of software. Uh, but the thing is, so why create another one? Well, because there wasn't enough Kanbans. That's crazy. We should make only the one that rules them all. But, um, but most of them are proprietary. And uh, having an open source alternative, it's uh, attracting to a lot of people, especially s certain organizations. Um, uh, medium or large companies, uh, governmental agencies, or um, just privacy-minded people, they like to control the data, especially it's uh, software where you put like your project data and you don't want to give all your data. I, I know some of you don't really care about that, but maybe imagine if Trello was a Chinese company instead of being a Silicon Valley company, would you mind giving them all the data? And if not, then what is the solution? Uh, should we have one Trello kind of company per country, or should we all use the same software, but uh, being able to host it on your own server? Uh, obviously, hosting um, uh, um, an application on your own server is complicated. Uh, so I'm very excited by this kind of project that runs personal server. And as some of you know about Sandstorm, they have done some multiple talk here at Meteor Dev Shop. Uh, it's um, a service to run your personal servers or your company servers. And so Weekend is available, available on the Sandstorm App Store. And it's one of the most popular applications. I love what the Sandstorm team is doing. And I'm working closely with them about improving things. The other advantage of um, building Weekend 
and building an open source Trello like Kanban is about um, extendability, is about um, creating new features because all of these Kanban, they all implement the same basis and they re-implement the same thing over and over again just to add one or two features. So for instance, uh, you have this thing, it's called Waffle and it's uh, Kanban for GitHub. You just have some integration with GitHub. You have the thing, it's called Sorted, it's Kanban for Gmail. And it's just uh, a way to manage your Gmail uh, email uh, with the Kanban methodology. So instead of having all these uh, companies re-implementing the Kanban basis, we could have like an open platform that everyone could hack and a plugin system. So there have been some very successful uh, open source platform. So WordPress obviously is a publishing platform and a very proficient ecosystem of plugin. And so th the goal is to create something like that. And there are already a, a lot of plugin ID uh, in the community. Um, some people already started uh, hacking um, weekend. Uh, some people are, are have having fun with it. I've heard that the, the source code is uh, quite funny to play with. Some people um, also find f they do fun things. So this guy, for instance, submitted a pull request called new chance for personal use case. <laughs> Changes some stuff like colors, icons, and maybe something else. <laughs> and when you look at the code, it changes a lot of things. <laughs> including indeed something else. It changed lo the logo for no reason. So <laughs> it's not e even more the, the weekend logo, it's no IT way something. <laughs> anyway, we also had some very good contribution. Uh, for instance, the Trello importation feature that I showed you um, just before is actually a contribution by someone. Uh, I didn't help it at all to do it. And it was able uh, on its own to figure out how the code work and and to do it, this very significant contribution. So it's Xavier and I'd like to thank him. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for a good open source material application to learn um, Meteor, to have some kind of uh, model, um, especially you know that Meteor doesn't enforce a strict structure on the, the source code, uh, I think this is a good example to, to follow. Uh, if you lack the code, you can add a star on GitHub. We have 5,000 stars, which make uh, Weekend the most popular media application on GitHub. And uh, followers on Twitter. We have 100 followers on Twitter, which doesn't make us the most popular anything of any category. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it. Thank you. We've got a question from online. If you could repeat the question, that'd be great. It's from Sam Hatoum. Is do you have any plans to put an interface on top of Asana? Uh, like so, the question is: Do you have any plan to put an interface on top of Asana? Uh, I don't have any plan to do that currently, but that's kind of something that could be uh, handled by the plugin ecosystem. So as we have synchronization between GitHub and Weekend, we could have another kind of synchronization between Asana and Weekend. Any other question? By the way, if you want to contact me, this is my email address. Thank you. <laughs>